66 GTO. Looking mighty fine. Got the super duper GTO type shifter. Got some mighty fine paint, black and silver. Custom steering wheel. AM FM stereo. Factory. Set of gauges. 65 Chevelle. If you didn't know better, you would say it's an SS396, but it's not. It's just a SS, and it's gorgeous. It's way better than new. So it's a 283 and totally detailed under the engine compartment and that's a model of an SS 386 65 Chevelle and it has the ultra rare two bar steering wheel that's a beauty this is a 69 or 70 uh yeah 69, 69 Grand Prix uh, and it's an SJ, which means 455. Oh, 428, I'm sorry. Tilt wheel. Very nice car. Uh, not detailed under the hood, but it does have air conditioning and cruise control. So it's a top of the liner. 59 Impala. And they've just been to the drive-in movie, it looks like. Oh, no, Burger King. Restored beautifully inside. Even the trunk is like new. Spare tire still has the paper on it. Oregon has SP plates, which comes in really handy on cars like this. You never have to buy them after you buy them once. Oh, he's got a big deal here. Unfortunately, my phone's not good enough to be able to read it all, but it's all the specs on a 59 Impala. Oh, and maybe his Impala's been in a uh, magazine. And it's got power late model brakes. And I'm guessing that that's an aftermarket integral power steering. I don't think they had that from Chevrolet. And we got a 55 Chevy 210 two-door sedan. And it looks like black, but when you get really up close to it, it's some sort of a metallic color. Very nice under the hood. Chromed everything. Be proud to take it home. Uh, big time stereo in the trunk. Actually, it's green when I get really looking at it close. <laughs> and it's four speed. Bunch of gauges hanging under the dash. Very nice inside. 55 Shiv, the chroma going across the dash there. It's got all those little black deals are little bow ties. I think that's really cool. 68 Camaro. It's an SS. Got Z28 stripes on it. And it's also a four speed. White interior, very pretty. Aftermarket steering wheel, Hearst linkage. Ah, it says it's a 383. So we got a stroker here. Don't know if I'll get it on YouTube or not, but I'm I'm trying to learn how to do it. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> 61 Thunderbird the, or 62 Thunderbird. I'm sorry. I've seen a lot of the YouTube videos from the local shows. Yeah. Going online, yeah. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. 
Red interior. I'm being called at. Okay, 56 Shiv to the top. I don't remember how far I got with this 62 Thunderbird. Well, I'll do the interior again just for GP. It's totally stock. Got the swing away steering wheel. Oh, it does have an aftermarket Thunderbird radio. It's got the Thunderbird medallion in the middle of it. Fifty-six Shiv Bel Air hardtop, spectacular paint. Chrome wheels and baldies is what we called them, beanies, baby moons. And this is a four-speed car, and see how the dash on fifty-six doesn't have the little emblems; it's just got dashes for the black in the middle deal. Got late model tilt wheel in it, gauges, four speed. Cool car. Really nice shape. I'm not even the yearbook though because I. Uh, Aluminum heads, the air gap intake, air conditioning, dual master cylinder. Late model power steering. I don't know what. What did they do? I had it built. 1960? Huh? 1960, yeah. Black Mariah. Yeah. Nice car. Uh, even has the stick shift uh, bezel on the uh, speedometer and all digital speedometer. Too bad it's not on so I can show it to you. The uh, power glides had the parental in that half moon deal there. 58 Impala. Very nice car, all custom trunk. Custom taillights. Chrome wheels with exposed lugs. Wide whites. Triple exit lake plugs, side pipes. All tuck and roll inside. And beautiful air conditioning. Old time air conditioning looking. Red pinstripe on all of his flames, and it's got lots of flames. Under the hood, once again, just beautiful. Chrome everywhere. Huh, no power brakes. But has power. Nope, no power steering either. And a 57 Chev Forder hardtop. Uh, dual spotlights on the uh, 58 Impala. Pretty car. 57 Chev Forder hardtop, Bel Air. All stock. At a glance. Got his partner riding with him. And very nice under the hood. Oh, got a Wonder Bar radio. Right, we got skirts and it's beautiful right, got the rear seat speaker gorgeous car we got barbs boosters here with his purple 1930 Model A. And he's advertising wanting donations to help end Alzheimer's. And he's got several sponsors locally. And it's like brand new inside, all stock. Maybe the colors are not, I'm not sure. And it's got a rumble seat. And some of these, when they have rumble seat, the rear window rolls down. This one doesn't look like it does. Got the spare tire on the rear. Got the 1930 Washington license plates. Got the steps here to get in the rumble seat. Very cool. And we got a Dodge Charger 67. 
and he's got his headlights open, but the headlights close on these and it doesn't look like it has headlights. Got 383 tags. Factory Magnum wheels off a little bit newer car. Gorgeous red interior with the center deal to ride in. Oh, air conditioning. Um, nice car. Oh, it has a tachometer. Got a little red pinstrip on the roof. Yeah, really cool taillight goes all the way across. <coughs> and we got a Falcon here. 69, I'm going to guess, maybe a 70. And the exterior is not much, but it has chrome or reversed rims and black. And the interior is not all torn up or anything. Dash is a little bit tough, but hey. But where it shines is under the hood. It looks great under the hood. Lots of patina, but very nice under the hood. And here we got a 63 Thunderbird. And it's a custom. I mean, it's really customized. It's got the swing away wheel, tuck and roll interior. Flared rear wheel wells, and not sure whether that's called on the rockers, but they're flared <coughs> front and rear. And it's called the Warbird. And as you can see, all customized on the front, and he belongs into the Loose Ends Car Club. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got a whole bunch of louvers in the hood and really wild custom paint. <laughs> Very wild Thunderbird. A lot of money. Oh, it has factory air. And here's a uh, 34 Ford Street Beast. Got a small block Chevrolet with dual quads. Very nice under the hood. Power brakes. Is it? Street Beast was a real clever way to do a kit car because the fenders and the body are all one piece and so the fit and everything goes without saying is perfect. And it makes them a lot tighter, less rattles. They're a really clever way to do a street ride and they were affordable. And the next thing we have is a 46 Shiv pickup. And it's in primer and got a pretty cool mural on the deck, on the tailgate. And 46 plates. And got pretty cool wheels and tire package. Fit the wheel walls nice, sits nice. Got the dash, lots of stickers from cruise ends. Good looking uh, instrument cluster. Got a tilt wheel and a nice seat. Take it off. Heading out? Yeah, the wife's got it. I forgot she's got it. Take a pair. Got new chrome on the grill and bumper? No. Nope. No? Original? The top piece is original, bottom one I replaced. Huh. Looks very nice. Says the top piece of the grill is correct, original, never touched. The bottom piece has been plated. New bumpers. Might be been seeing my brother at Shivs of the Forties. Played off this car. Yep. <laughs> and this Model T came in after I got here, and it's got a rickety camshaft, old boy. It sounds nasty. We got a driver for this here. You fire this up for me, so I can show the YouTubers what it sounds like. If I ever get it on YouTube. Very custom. You got a couple rat finks on it. And he's also a member of the Loose Ends, which is a very popular club here in Gresham, Oregon. Thanks, sir. Doesn't get it sound any better than that, does it? And this here is a 
Uh, just a second and I'll tell you. 71 or two, carry all. And it's got the big rays. It's a beauty. Looks like a brand new car. Interior also very nice. I can't look in there myself because it's so tall. And here we got a, another Chevrolet pickup. This is also a 71 or 2, by the grill at least. And it's a Cheyenne, it's a long box. Looks like a Survivor and a pretty nice Survivor. Front seat's a little ticky tacky. Huh, has factory air and an automatic. And it's got a tonneau cover. Got the factory rear bumper. And here we got a 69 Camaro. And looks awfully like a 427 Camaro. But it's not, it's an automatic. But he's got the hood on it, so as soon as he gets the hood on it and painted, um, driving around, it looks like a uh, 427 Camaro, oh, yeah. which is a pretty cool look. And here we got a Pro Street 68 Camaro, or at least it didn't have wing windows, and pretty customized dash. Got the steering wheel hung. Got racing seats by Sparco. Got the slick shifter and a roll cage. It's a true blue pro street. Got the switch to turn it off so that if he crashes it at the drag strip, the guys can run up and flip that switch and kill the engine. And the car, like most all the cars that I've been viewing, compares well with a new one. And it's SS and got the big ass hood, which is a lift off fiberglass hood because he's got these all the way around it. And we'll go look at this uh, 71 or Two Camaro, 7072 Camaro. Got Z28 emblems and stripes. Front spoiler. Custom hood. Says it's a 71. And it's a beauty. Z28 tags there. Got an automatic. So, yeah, 71, I guess the Z28 can be an automatic. It's very nice. Good looking wheels, rear spoiler, got the exhaust coming out the back like a Z28 would. Nice car. And the owner of the Camaro thanked me for filming it, if he only knew. And a whole bunch of stuff written on the back of this fad tee. Follow me to don't know where. Got a couple sponsors. Kyron is a little kid that disappeared 10 years ago or so and they still look for him. Got the floor shift but it is an automatic. Got the cool side pipes. And whip snap looking small block Chevrolet motor. Aluminum radiator. Chrome shocks and spring. A nice uh, entry level fad tee. I like it. And we got to uh, see the grill and I'll tell you what year. We got a 71 Ford four wheel drive. No, maybe two wheel drive. Camper Special. 
Nice inside. Got wheels on it. Got nice paint, shiny. Smooth, no orange peel. Nice grill and bumper. All detailed under the hood. Got a big block FE motor with headers and a high riser and a holly. And some sort of a uh, MSD distributor, I would guess. Nice truck. We got an oval window Volkswagen. It's a 55, 6, 56. And it's got the factory sunroof. That's pretty cool. Um, pretty stock looking insides. I don't think they ever came in this color, but it's pretty cool. And it's got AM FM Bosch radio. Pretty cool. And it's an oval rear window bug. And it's got the W deck lid, which is pretty cool. I always like those. And it's got wide whites and stock hubcaps. Right hand rear view mirror. Got the cool park lights that oval windows had. And this is pretty cool. And we got a 64 to 6 shift pickup. I can't tell them apart. And it's a diamond. There's no secondary things about it. It's just gorgeous everywhere. Got the gas fill here in the bed so it doesn't have one behind the seat. And the tailgate's absolutely perfect. And it's got the regular back bumper instead of a uh, Barden whip snap foos wheels. And of course, detailed to the nines under the hood. And it's got Wildwood master cylinder, power steering, no air conditioning. Aluminum radiator. And these pickups are called square pickups. And this is a who knows what year. Ah, it's a 78. And it's got air conditioning. Not detailed to the max under the hood. Just a decent driver. Nice looking wheels and tires. Oh, nice looking insides. Cool steering wheel. Got a full bed liner so it looks nice in the bed. Got the good looking back bumper and chrome across the tailgates, all very nice. Nice looking exhaust, big. And we're going to a 61 Impala. Absolutely brand new. One, one more time, chrome wheels with baby moons or baldies, whichever way you want it. And he's got a model of it. And custom interior, very nice. Huh, Impala floor mats, they're pretty cool. Oh, I gotta go up there and your dad's money, don't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, radio TAs, yeah. And we're going to a Shiv pickup, another square body. Got SP plates. Yep. Good jacking up. Deluxe wheels. Huh, they're even uh, maybe bead, whatever you call it, I'm not sure, I can't remember. I'm old. Anyhow, the beads look like they bolt to the tire, so they won't come off, so you can let the air really out of it so that they won't come off the bead when you're four-wheeling. Pretty deluxe. And here's something you don't see every day. It's a Hillman Manx convertible. And it's yellow. And it's got an AM FM radio in it. Old school. Yeah. 
It's got an antique vehicle plate. I'm not familiar with that. Painted his bumper black. Painted all of his chrome black. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? That'll probably be a while before you see another one of those. It says it's a 1958 Hillman Manx. And we have another 71 2 shift pickup, 72 SS. And it's just a real nice driver. Nice interior. Huh? Factory air in this too. You can tell factory air if they have the vent down there and the vent over in the middle of the dash. That's a good sign that it's factory air. Yeah. And it's got power brakes, and if it has factory air, it's gone. And I think I'm done. <laughs>